that a good ending? Well, let's go back to the start. Our story begins many years ago in a very particular kind of landscape. Wetlands, the Earth's natural sponges. They help regulate temperature, reduce the impact of floods, and provide an abundant supply of fresh water. They host countless species of fish, plants, birds, and marine mammals. But they are also home to a more familiar type of mammal humans. Life begins in wetlands. People's relationship with water began around 10,000 BC, when they first began to settle the great rivers and wetlands of Mesopotamia. They developed many rituals and traditions, and soon, the Mediterranean basin became known as the cradle of civilization. Settlers quickly realized that if they took care of the land, the land would take care of them. They adopted methods for gaining the resources they needed to survive, and they did so sustainably. This way, the wetlands were protected and continued to be around for future generations. Their new environment also inspired them to develop traditional art, pottery, and gastronomic delicacies. Much of this cultural heritage is still around today. All over the Mediterranean, people continue to use traditional knowledge designed to work in harmony with wetlands. In Oristano, Sardinia, the locals use rice farming techniques created many years ago. Fishermen in the Mezzolonghi Lagoon in Greece still utilize ancient fishing skills. They also produce avgotaraho, the caviar of the Mediterranean. In Tunisia, in the Gar El Mel Lagoon, farmers grow potatoes by planting them in the sandy shores of the wetlands. But Mediterranean wetlands face a number of threats. The strain is beginning to show. Over the last 100 years, we have lost more than half of our coastal wetlands. So what does all of this have to do with you? Well, you may have more at stake than you think. Have you ever stopped to think that where you live may actually be a wetland or an ancient river settlement? Living by water, it's in our genes. So visit a wetland, discover its nature, experience its culture, support local markets, and by doing so, protect our heritage. Don't let these precious landscapes be wiped off your map.